Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com and this is the next uh, video in the Android car tablet slash auto Android series. Um, today we're going to be talking about one of the most important things you can do with a uh, car tablet and that's deciding how to set up your home screen, your launcher, what launcher to use, why, um, there are three options I'm going to be presenting to you. The first one is just using a regular home launcher. And the one that I recommend is Nova Launcher. Uh, it's not the only one, but I think it's probably the best one, and there's a few reasons for that. And if you're going to use a home launcher, and you're just going to use a home screen, you want to be able to set it up and differently than you would set up if you were using a tablet just as a tablet or your phone. Um, you're thinking about it differently when you're setting it up for your car. And that's why I recommend Nova Launcher for the different features it has. As you see here, I have, this is my main screen, um, have a lot of uh, widgets, uh, which you may use, make more use of widgets on a car tablet than you would a normal tablet because of the way you use it and you want access to information and very basic things. So I have my music widget here and then I have, uh, this is through the app Torque, which I'll talk about in a future video, which reads information from my engine music controls and these are universal music controls down here um, just some very basic things your time your weather and then I just have one other screen you flip over to that screen and I just have some basic uh, controls uh, my log which is another app I'll talk about in a future review and then some basic apps that I want to be able to access quickly um, I've set this up to be able to launch apps by voice but obviously sometimes you might need to launch them the old fashioned way. So uh, these are the, basically the only things that I would think that I might need to launch, you know, while I'm on the road driving in my car. So they're all there. And I just have the two screens. Obviously when you're setting up a car tablet, you're basically gonna have just one or two screens, uh, really at the most, because um, you wanna keep it minimal. You wanna keep it just the stuff you really need and use when you're in your car. Now there's a couple reasons why I chose Nova Launcher. One, you can kind of see right here. Um, I don't know how well it's going to translate in the video, but these icons are a lot bigger than you would normally have icons, even on a tablet. And Lon uh, Nova allows you to uh, do that. Let's go into Nova settings real quick, and I'll show you. If you go to, let's see, if we go to somewhere it's in here. You look and fill, and then, uh, yeah, icon size. So you see I have it at 130%, the largest that it can go. Not all launchers allow you to do that, but Nova does. And obviously when you're dealing with launching stuff, you know, on a car tablet, you want things to be easy to tap. You want things to be big, uh, and so that's why I wanted to make them as large as I could. Um, and so I set that up. Uh, also, you can see the little blue underneath there that has the name of the app. You can change the color of that. That's a Nova thing. Or you can not have it there at all, which is kind of cool too. It's easy to change um, icons. Uh, these are all custom icons, uh, cu custom uh, 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 pictures, and you just long press, and you click edit. And if you tap that, you can pick the... Uh, icon you want. You can see on this one it had a label underneath it but I deleted the label so now it has no label and then swipe action which is a really cool thing and I'll show you how that works and that's a Nova thing too. Any icon that's on your screen you can uh, give it a swipe action. So as you can see this right here this is my uh, Google Play Music uh, widget but let's say I wanted to listen to an audiobook. I swipe up on that and look, now I have Audible. Now, having that there, that is through another app called Overlays, which I'll touch on in a future video. But the fact that I can launch it like that is due to Nova Launcher. It's because I can assign a swipe action to uh, any of these icons, and I can have it either launch another app, launch a specific app, or I can have it launch a shortcut. And so I had it launch a shortcut, and through Overlays, launch that widget and then I can make it go away. So that's a Nova Launcher thing too. Another reason uh, why I recommend Nova Launcher. Another reason is you can resize your widgets. So if you long press uh, and hit resize, you can resize it to whatever size you want it to be. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. 
Um, and that's a, uh, uh, Nova is not the only launcher that allows that, but it's an important thing. You will definitely want to be able to resize your widgets. Um, another thing you want to be able to do is change your grid. If we go to desktop, you go to desktop grid, you'll see I have five rows and ten columns. And the reason uh, I did ten columns was because the more dense your grid is, the more options you have in terms of placement, where you want to place things. So that's, uh, that was important to me. And uh, it allows you, also when you're resizing your widgets, the more, more dense your grid, the more options you have for resizing your widgets. Um, also, within Nova Launcher, you can place icons in between grids. So you'll see this one right here. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see those little dots. See, this is, is, is actually between uh, a grid. This would be the grid spot here. This would be the actual column, and this would be a column, and this is between the columns. So you can do that with Nova Launcher, which is um, very cool as well. Also, you'll see up here, I have the transparent notification bar, or you can not have a notification bar. At first, I didn't have the notification bar, so if you want to, you can completely make the notification bar uh, disappear when you're on your home screen. Um, but then I realized that actually I like being able to see that information. That information can be important sometimes. So, uh, but I didn't want the black bar at the top, so I changed it to a uh, transparent notification so you just see my background image through that which I think gives it a really cool look and and works really uh, really well um, and so that's uh, Nova Launcher again it has a lot of cool features uh, I did a full review of Nova Launcher that you can check out if you want to see all the details long video going through all the different things you can change in it but uh, in this video just want to show you some of the reasons why I think Nova Launcher is the perfect choice uh, as a home launcher for an Android car tablet um, now I'm gonna have a couple other videos where I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, apps that are specifically geared towards being like a car dock for your tablet to set up your tablet for use in the car um, and those are good options as well um, I just decided for me I wanted to use uh, a home launcher, regular home launcher, so that I could have the widgets, all the widgets I wanted with all the information exactly as I wanted. Um, so depending on your setup, you may decide to do this or you might decide to do those other ones and we'll look at those in future videos. But that's it for this video. This is just to kind of show you how, to, how I recommend setting up a home screen if you're going to use a launcher. Again, Nova Launcher isn't the only one. There are other launchers you might want to consider. But Nova is a, uh, is a great one. It has those uh, features, a few of the features that are very unique to it. Um, and it's not too heavy on resources, which is good, especially on my tablet since I only have one gig of RAM. So, uh, yeah, definitely one to check out. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, so watch the next two uh, videos and you can kind of see, then you can kind of decide from there what way you want to go with setting up your main screen for your car tablet and uh, get it set up the, the best way for you. So come back for those videos. Until then, uh, check out my channel. I've got over 150 Android app reviews. I've got an entire Tasker tutorial series to help you learn all about Tasker, which we'll be talking about more in, uh, uh, in the future in this series as well. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel. You can keep up with all the videos I do. Anyway, that's going to be it until next time, so have fun with your Android car tablet.